in the last video, we went over how to create segments uh, from our image. Uh, and I said I wasn't going to go over how to tune or calibrate or change those parameters for the segments, but I changed my mind, and I'm going to go over here uh, kind of the different inputs, arguments for quick shift a little bit, and the different arguments for slick, which is one we didn't cover last time. Now, quick shift took about 20 minutes to run on my machine. Slick is a lot faster. It will run in two to three minutes. Um, so you may want to try slick. I'm also getting better results with slick. And I'll go over that here real quick. I've generated these outputs already, so I'm just going to walk you through what I have in QGIS and show you the code that I ran to get there. And I'm going to post this code on my website in a blog post. And I will put the link in the description of this video so that you can have access to that. Um, and I'll try to update that blog post so we continue to go through this tutorial. All right, so first, this was the segment we created last time. I've got this line commented out, but we created this one last time. I did another one here, which um, I changed the ratio to 0 0.8. And what the ratio does is it determines how much the algorithm leans towards distance versus color. So a value of one, this value is just from zero to one, a value of one means it's solely based on color and not distance to other pixels. And a value of zero means it's based on distance to other pixels. And that's gonna give you more of a grid looking um, segmentation. Then I did another one, which the ratio I put to 0.99 and the maximum distance um, I put to five and that's gonna give you smaller um, segments, okay? And then I did slick, and I put the number of segments at 100,000. I made the compactness 0 0.1, and the compactness uh, kind of again refers to the size, okay? I did another one of 500,000 um, segments, approximately, it's not gonna be exact, but it's gonna approximately get to that number. I made the compactness smaller, so these segments would be smaller, and the one that I got the best results with so far was 500,000 and 0.1 for the compactness. So let's go take a look at what these look like um, in QGIS. Okay, so I've got my image here, and I'm gonna go zoom out here, and maybe I'm gonna come over to, we'll come over to an area like this. We have some trees, um, we have some water, have some houses, have some fields. So let's first take a look. Here's my segments from last time. So I'll turn those on and you can see that it's not really picking up these roads well. The segments are too big to pick up um, any of those roads. You can see I picked up this house here pretty nicely. Um, it's not picking up this house over here though. And these trees, it's picking up trees and fields in the same segments. Okay, so here's the next one, the next slick one that I did, or sorry, this is the next quick shift where I changed that um, parameter to 0.8. The, let's go just take a look and see what that parameter was. It was the ratio parameter to 0.8. So that's this one here. And you can see that it hasn't done a ton, but it changed things a little. So this is picking up the road a little better right here, the highway. If I turn that off and turn this on, that was picking it up a little bit. There's not a ton of difference. You can see right here, maybe this has got a different uh, segment in there. These are pretty similar, but there's a little bit of difference between them, okay? So here's the other one where I turned the maximum distance down to five and um, the compactness, or not like the ratio up to 0.99. And you can see we're starting to get that road a little better. You can see here that these fields are popping out a little bit. Like if I zoom in on these fields, you can see that this one that has hay bales in it, um, it's picking up, then you get some variation here with different land cover types. We get into this new field here, and the segments change shape a little bit. So it's morphing the things a little better there, um, which is good, but it's still probably not quite as good as I want to get. Okay, so let's take a look at the slick runs. Here's the first slick one I did, just kind of the, the defaults. And you can see here that slick is already picking up that road. And it's picking up some of these smaller roads maybe a little better as well. We can turn the image off to see what those look like. And so this segment isn't totally getting it, um, but a little bit. And it's getting this highway over here. It's getting the road there a little bit. Um, 
turn the image back on, go look at our hay field. You can see it's picking up this hay field. There are different um, shaped segments there than in the adjacent fields. Okay. And let's go to the next slick segment. And you can see this got kind of crazy. You know, we have the really long, elongated um, uh, segments in some of these images. And so I'm not sure that didn't work out very well. Wasn't a good parameterization um, for slick there. Okay. And then let's go to the finally my third slick, my last one. And this is the one that I think turned out the best. Um, so if I go zoom in here, let's see, where was my highway? Here we go. So here's my highway. You can see these segments are lining up pretty well along the highway. Um, if I turn this off, you can see we're starting to pick up these roads a little bit in some of these, but they also extend out beyond those roads. And let's go find a new area uh, and see if we can kind of see what this is doing. We'll check this road out here. We've got some trees got the road and so let's turn this on and so if we zoom in you can see it's picking up this road those segments i'm um, kind of end where the road ends if you look over uh, at these groups of trees you can see those segments are kind of picking up the trees and we'll turn this off real quick so we've got these trees right here those segments seem to follow that boundary pretty decently and then we have some more open areas so this was the best segmentation I found. I didn't try super hard. Um, I tried a few different ones. You can see again, these houses are getting picked up in segments. The roads here are getting picked up in segments. And so you can see that coming out pretty well. Um, okay, so let's go back over to the code and I'll show you the parameterization I used for this. And so I used this segments slick with 500,000 for the number of segments and a compactness factor of 0 0.1. You can even play around with this a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, and like I said, I'll post this code on the website so that you can copy and paste it and have access to it. And I'll just show you, I'll run this real quick and pause it while it runs so you can see how long it takes. So I'm just gonna go up here to OBIA and run this script. And I'll pause this for just a minute. Okay, so it finished. Uh, you'll see it took about three minutes to run here. And it didn't finish because I have this same file that I'm saving to open uh, in QGIS so it couldn't overwrite it. So I got this error, um, but otherwise the code would work. And so like I said, it takes about three minutes as opposed to 20. Now let me show you one more thing. Um, if you're interested in the documentation for all this, as I've showed before, um, sidekit.image.org, there are docs there. Um, and it has examples, so here's the slick um, documentation. It will give you an explanation about all the parameters or arguments um, and give you some notes and some examples of how to use this. Um, we can also go and look at Quick Shift, and once again, it gives you those, that same information. And so if you have questions, be sure to go over and take a look at the documentation here. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll start to get to work bringing in our point data that we're going to use for truth and test data.